Hello, I'm Steve Stoller, Plano's Media Relations Director, and this is Plano City News, your local-only Plano newscast. This week, we start with a prestigious national honor bestowed on our city. The International City-County Management Association, or ICMA, will honor Plano Fire Rescue for its Community Paramedic Program. ICMA's Community oh, Health so. and Safety Awards recognize local government programs that demonstrate innovation, excellence, and success in the area of community safety, health, and wellness. Plano Fire Rescue noticed a trend in calls for service from people who do not require an ambulance. In 2014, they started collaborative partnerships with local hospitals to develop a way to better manage these patients through alternative methods of care. City Manager Mark Israelson will accept the award on behalf of the city at ICMA's annual conference in Austin on October 3rd. Best Neighborhoods Love Where You Live program is looking for volunteer groups to participate in our Fall Service Day on September 30th. Groups will adopt a project in the Village Creek neighborhood and help with a variety of minor home repairs, including landscaping, painting, fence repair, and more. An adoption event will be held September 7th for volunteer groups to review and choose projects. Volunteers for litter cleanup and curb painting are also needed. Both individuals and groups are welcome to register to volunteer by visiting plano.gov LWYL. Volunteers can still RSVP after September 7th. Plano residents weighed in on the proposed fiscal year 2023-24 budget at a town hall meeting. It featured a presentation by Director of Budget and Research Karen Rhodes Whitley and questions and answers from the public. The city is a service industry and we are subject to the same economic conditions affecting the rest of the country. This year, the city and community have seen significant inflationary pressures. Plano's Multicultural Outreach Roundtable, or MCOR, held their yearly business leadership reception at the Center for American International Law. The focus, what attracts businesses to Plano? The speakers came from global companies, including Boeing Global Services, Shutterfly, and SK Signet America. The leadership reception was founded to proceed and highlight the Plano International Festival, which will be held on Saturday, October 14th in downtown Plano's Haggard Park. We close this week with a special birthday greeting to Beatrix B. Lorenzen. Ms. B. just celebrated her 105th birthday at the conservatory at Plano where she lives. She grew up in New Orleans and before moving to North Texas, she survived Hurricane Katrina. Her house was destroyed and she was left with nothing but the clothes on her back and what little she took with her. She amazingly kept her spirits up and was grateful to be alive and safe through it all. At 105, she continues to thrive and serves as an inspiration for all that know her. Happy birthday, B. Lorenzen. And that does it for this week's edition of Plano City News. For more from our great city, head to social media. Check us out there. You can always go to our website, Plano.gov. We'll see you next week. Hi Plano, Steve Stoller here. If you found this video interesting, be sure to subscribe by clicking here. This is Plano's official YouTube channel and subscribing keeps you up to date. If you're interested in learning more about Plano, click here to watch more news from the city.